Hello my people. Today I asked nice playing community sheet with uh, Manchester City at the Wembley Arena. Um, this is going to be an interesting game today. Uh, for Arsenal to come in, I want to play against with one of the best teams in, in Europe at this moment, which is Manchester City. Um, Arsenal could have played a community sheet with uh, Man City is because Man City won the FA in the last season. So, and um, the winner of FA should have been the winner of uh, Premiership that played community sheet, but because Man City won the two cups, so they have to play the second, uh, the second uh, team on the league, which is uh, Arsenal. Um, it's it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, we just want Arsenal to win today, to be honest. Um, we want Arsenal to win. Uh, Arsenal has to win today. Uh, at least just to start their season with a community sheet cup. Uh, we'll see how it's going to be. Uh, we know that community sheet is a very old traditional uh, cup in the history of English uh, Premiership. And uh, the it has a very whole historical uh, 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 information behind it, stating back in 1930 uh, when Arsenal made their first appearance and they got hands on the silver way. And if you have to uh, ahead of the meeting with uh, Man City, uh, we they say, Arsenal have indicated that. They know they have a very good record when playing community sheet with Manchester City. And um, if you look at the uh, the the club itself, we know the, the games himself involved from the Sheriff of London Shield. Uh, fixtures has been played annually since 1898 between the leading professionals and the amateur club that year to raise money for hospitals and other charities. That's the reason why we have community sheet. And the first charity sheet features was back in 1908 uh, when the Professional Football League Championship Manchester United beat the Amateur Southern League Championship Queen Park Rangers. The first time it was treated to be a league Championship versus FA winner was in 1921. So that's where they decided to treat it. To say, look, any club that win the FA and any club that also won the Premiership will be the two clubs that will play uh, in order to battle for the community sheet. And, um, and we know that there are about 124 uh, clubs who, are, who have competed in the FA Cup since the previous seasons. And they got out, cut of the ticket and program sales for the next features. So this is a very important uh, 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 cup to win. And we also know that uh, uh, Asna uh, has won it 16 times for the second place with Liverpool, uh, meaning that we move into the outright second behind United. Should we have beat the city rival of Sunday. The Red Devils are the most successful teams in the competition history, winning it 21 times. So, and uh, one of our wins actually a sheer sheet which was ironic, which came against the Tottenham or Sport back in 1991 in a goalless games, which is the only all non-London derby finals to date. 
And that day before the penalty shootout, determined the winner. If the games ended in a draw, then the team would kept the trophy for six months each. So it has been played for all time, for a long period of time. This is one of the prolific uh, cheat games. And Arsenal has been also been, been one of the clubs that has been winning this game as well. And we all know that the uh, the eight time the Premiership League run up have been involved due to the championship during the doubles and they have also prevailed twice. And one of these was used in 1999 when Manchester United in 2010, the last to succeed in the community sheet. And we appear in seven of the nine times the competitions were held in 1930, winning the five times during the decades. And um, we have we have to, we have faced Manchester twice before in the final, and a boast of seven to zero aggregate score line spanning the eighty year gap between the games. So if you look at the record of Arsenal in this community cheat, uh, they've played a lot. Uh, they've played uh, when they start playing community sheet back in nineteen thirty. Uh, they beat Sheffield uh, by 2 1. And they beat West Ham, uh, West Brown, Bromley by 1 0. Uh, they won it, they beat Everton. Uh, they even beat Manchester City in 1934 to 1935. And uh, they've, they've, they've played a lot, but the only club they've been playing consistently with is Manchester United. So, but all overall, uh, they also play Manchester City in 20, in 2014 to 15, they beat them by 3 nil. So now they want to play Manchester City. Manchester City back then wasn't a great club, but now they are now one of the best club in Europe. So it's going to be an interesting sheet. It's going to be an interesting games. And we see who is going to win. Uh, Sunday seal uh, had to win, uh, win before the first days of competition action this season. And uh, we know that uh, Manchester triple winners in the last Premiership with the community shield online. And we know that one of the there are two or three players have left Man City. Uh, we we'll see how that one is going to go by. And um, so they still have some some good players among them. So it's going to be a test of time for Arsenal. And uh, we know recently that uh, Man City just recently signed a uh, 21-year-old uh, Croatian international uh, from uh, from league, from league, league's, uh, RB Leagues, uh, which cost them about $77 million. Um, so we see how one is going to be. And uh, we know Arsenal have so uh, spent roughly more than 200 million in order to enforce their midfield. So, are they going to use them today? We're going to see. And the Arsenal, especially at Teto, uh, believe that this team can beat Manchester City. Uh, they are the best. We know they are the best in Europe. And we know what the standards they have. Uh, we, now we need to win the games. We wouldn't be very excited. They have shown their consistencies over the years and their merits respect from everybody for what they have done. And if you want to challenge for the championship, you know the total point that you are going to be needed. And that is on head of in the league for the last hundred years. So that's the standard. So if you want to be there and you know what you have to do. And we know Guadalajara is it's a very tactician. Uh, he's going to get his boys ready for this game. He knows what his game set ties. And when he normally he has a very good winning mentality, uh, Community Sheet is one of the clubs that he wants to win. He's a very quiet guy, but he, he, he knows how to bring the best out of his player. So we'll see how this one is going to go. But our team, um, uh, Gabriel Jesu, uh, which I think it pick up a kind of uh, new injury, so it's not going to feature us today, and um, which is a big blow for Arsenal. 
And um, so we don't know whether it's going to feature us today. And we also know that uh, Shizanko could also be missing after sitting out, uh, sitting out all of the preseason so far with a half, with a calf in, in issues, which he has been picked during the training last week. And uh, we have um, um, Mohamed Nelly also has a long time new injuries. And Nelson, Fola, Rui Balogun, Sam Balokonko all has been issued that prevent them from being selected in the recent week. And um, we know that uh, even for Man City, Kevin De Bruyne has not played a minute during the preseason so far. As he continues to recover from the hamstring injury he sustained in the Championship League final. But Guardiola believe it's the closing on a return. So it's going to be an interesting. We have two or two couples of injuries between the teams. And um, we'll see how this one is going to go. Man City has been one of the best players in the world. We know that. And without them having Kevin De Bruyne in the teams, we'll see how they're going to perform today. So it's going to be an interesting. But... Um, the the match is going to commence today and uh, hopefully at the Wembley Arena. So it's going to be an interesting and uh, we'll see. And uh, we just want uh, Arsenal to do something great today. So I just want to give you a clip of uh, uh, the last time Arsenal won the uh, community sheet. So uh, just for you to have a look. So now I'll see you. So, and people also said that could Arsenal, could City be the team to beat once again? Um, so, we don't know whether that can be possible. And uh, it's going to be a, 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 a big, big, a big, big mentality because that, that means our teams have just raised the games, make sure that they are focused, uh, make them that they are very aggressive and and uh, make sure that at least when they have the opportunity, they have to use it. And uh, Man City can be beaten, so they are one of the great club. It's going to be a big joint effort between the teams. And we know they have changed short consistencies over the years. And we know that Man City, they have, we have the uh, merit respect for everybody for what they have done. And if you want to challenge for that championship, you know the total point that you are going to be needed. So it's going to be an interesting. And uh, we, our new, um, one of the highest uh, English player, uh, which is Dickin Rice, uh, he has to play today, and he knows he, he knows what Premiership is, and uh, it's time for him to show himself what is actually what. So we know that it's, it's more com comfortable when it comes to winning. It has that winning mentality. So let's see whether it's going to play today. And let's see how things is going to go. It's going to be a big game. So I think um, we have a press release from, uh, from Mikel Ateto before the pre-season uh, match. And, um, and he knows that he has also been one of those uh, players have won community sheet and um, he knows the graffiti of what he need and he knows that definitely every hot has to be on hand uh, Buko Isaka we know is, is going to play today uh, Gabriel Jesus as I said is not playing and um, we know we want to sign a new player which is uh, uh, David Rea from uh, Sheffield and that is still ongoing and um, with that, it hasn't been progressed as well. Uh, we know that the can rise. Uh, it's going to play today. It's going to play big, play big roles in the midfield. So it's going to be an interesting game as well. Uh, we also know that um, um, the new Julia Timber is going to play today. <coughs> Car Havax is going to play today. <coughs> Sorry. And it's also very fit, uh, so it will be also be on the mid midfield. Uh, so, but Ateto said definitely, um, it has a very good 
uh, uh, it's a good player so we we'll see he's gonna play today and um, we will see how this one is gonna go and uh, how this one is gonna react and uh, Arsenal has just have to give something for the uh, for the for the for the club and I have to smile today it's gonna be a big game so come on Arsenal so this is going to be an interesting game and I'll see you in the next take care bye